Hi guys, Ben here. Welcome back to another day trip tonight. It's Fulham versus Bristol Rovers. We're on the walk to Craven Cottage now, and these guys have both had a burger already. Uh, I was going to, I think I was probably the one that advocated it initially, but I bottled it when I saw Big Whisk Burger. But give me your review of the burger, Big Whisk. It's not very good, mate. Yeah, I mean, you completely stitched us up here saying, oh yeah, I'm going to have it. We both order, and he's standing over the other side, but I'm not going to have it. Yeah, I saw a big West Burger. Buns are too. Buns are a bit. Like been Look, out if, for a if, while. I'd, if I'd have gone first, I'd have, I'd have got mine. What, what's, what's wrong with it? The bun feels like it's been out for a while, for a start. And it's, just, it's not toasted. No, it's not toasted. There's cheese hasn't, about it. cheese hasn't melted. You know your problem with potato with chips? Yeah. This is like bready bread. Right, yeah. okay, yeah. Right, it's like okay. too fluffy in it. Yeah, yeah. I'm, with, I'm with you there. Actually. Too much bread. The, onion, the, 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 the onions I got had uh, gone cold. Right. Ah, see, I They're think... like lukewarm, actually. Lukewarm onion shit. Yeah. The it, burger it, itself's all right. As, gui- as guilty as I feel for about, stitching you up. I'm worried about the water. The wa- the, 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 anything could be in this. The water's not going to... You're not going to be out in with that. Yeah, I know, but I'm going to be able to get rid of that quickly. Um, so I'm going to get my burger in the ground. We could go in any no. end. We could go in any end. I'd 20 like minutes till kick-off. Full and rest of Bristol Rovers. League Cup. Carabao yeah. Cup. Carabao Cup. Sorry, sponsors. Uh, <laughs> let's do it. Same to me, at uh, Torquay you get them for two quid. Never ran out either. They're always the first to go, aren't they? Better days, yeah, yeah, yeah. Made me forget that horrendous burger that I had on the walk. I shouldn't have had both, really. Um, but feeling great, pastry immaculate. I uh, thoroughly enjoyed myself, actually. I'm gonna go for an 8.5. I didn't think you did half ratings. You're gonna have to make a decision. I think we're gonna need it for this mate. Uh, yeah. I um, mean, it, it would be the best ever meal on day trip had it not been for the hospitality on Saturday, which obviously was the best. Uh, 8 out of 10 for me, I think. Strong 8 out of 10, though. Like, it, I'm not sure what it needs. Maybe a bit more filling in order to get to 9. But... A, bit, a bit more moisture in the filling, I think. Yeah, but it was good. Very, very oh, good. I'm very sure you stitched me up on this burger. Oh, you could have had the pie I had both. Nah, I this. can never tell them down a Balti pie because they go so quickly at grounds. And, like, and, a, and, a, and an outlet that was called Putney Pies, it, yeah. just, it had to be for me. Talked about by the uh, the fans to our left. Big West is enjoying his yeah, first ever pie. Pie, as he calls it. 
Yeah, yeah I, I jumped on the fire bandwagon. <laughs> that is a, a football match, so he's enjoying that. Steak pie, not our bolty pie, as, uh, as touted no, earlier. I don't really like bolty pie. You've never had a pie football match, so I'm not no, sure. No, I've, I've had bolty pie before. All right. Just, you know, I know where I stand with steak pie. Moist, that looks moist. Yeah, it's good. It's unorthodox. <laughs> So one 0 Bristol Rovers, uh, and deservedly so. Big wish. How, how have you enjoyed it so far? Oh, Bristol Rovers are playing some quality footy. Yeah. Fulham, it looks like um, a weak inside, yeah. uh, league commitments, but um, they're not up to it. No. They, they've got no, they've got nothing in attack. They keep getting wide. And there's no support in for the strikers. Shea Oljo has been pretty, uh, pretty wasteful, really. Um, yeah, one chance. Yeah, yeah. One, shot. one opportunity for him, but. Disappointing, really. I expect them more from him, but the Bristol Rovers' defence has been resolute. As for the as for the stadium, the stadium. I'm actually a bit annoyed that it's taken me 24 years to to come to this place. It's a, ni it's a nice enough. It's a lovely traditional old, yeah, old place, isn't it? Yeah. Good pies. Oh, it's made it's you know it's made up for itself with the pies and stuff. Yeah. You, Everything's you, very slick. You, you're not a fan of this place. Oh, oh hello. Nah, like, um, what are we talking about? I suppose it'd be different when there are more fans here. Big Wiff doesn't like the, the ground. What? It's nice here. Ah, it's a Very bit... Very relaxed. Yeah, it's alright. It's very Tuesday night in the Carabao Cup. Yeah, it's alright. Like... I thought, I walked in there, I thought it was very Premier League. Yeah. Nah, it's not like Premier League. Really? Nah. Up to Paul was very Premier League. No, that wasn't. Up to Paul was the box. <laughs> Not having to talk about West Ham.
some point, but we're... <laughs> so one new win for Bristol Rovers, an upset at Craven Cottage. I thought the fans were entertaining. I thought they were loud throughout, just full of enthusiasm. Probably the best fans, uh, you know, I've come across, um, you know, as part of this day trip series. And big whisk. What, uh, what did you make of Bristol Rovers fans tonight? Uh, before you talk some about of the most buoyant fans I've ever been a part of at, at one point. To be honest, I think it was staggering. What, Didn't stop singing all night. What do you make of the guy who just kept on stamping uh, oh. with, with his right foot? And I was worried about his knee at one point. Uh, to be honest, uh, I was also very worried about him. Yeah. Every time the chart went up, he was preparing his leg. It was hovering over the seat, making sure he could stamp. Yeah. But, very uh, vigorous stamping as well. But overall, I thought it was probably one of the better ones we've done. I'm with you. Because um, we, we did QPR, didn't we? Which is obviously a very similar game. A, yeah. a, a championship West London club against a, a lower, lower. Low, lower tier opposition. But I thought the atmosphere was better in this one. Um, yeah. The football was probably slightly better. You know, it'll yeah. be it'll be very little action down our end. For a half. League One side, Bristol Rovers played some very nice football. They did, especially well first 30 minutes. So oh. really tidy. Full and well off the pace. Um, I mean, obviously the pie, a huge part of the evening. Yeah. Um, Maiden pie for me at football grounds. So. Yeah. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Any further feedback really on Fulham? Would, would, would you return to Craven Cottage for, for, uh, for, for a league I'd league probably game? return, yeah. It was alright. You don't seem enthralled by the place. Uh, it's a long walk from the station. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you, if you sit at the back of the away end, like, you can't see any screen, so you have no idea how long, left in the, how long time left is in the game, which is a bit of an issue. Yeah. But apart from that, yeah, it was alright. All right. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed yourself for, for, for your 15 quid and your yeah. uh, and your pie and what you know any, any other expenditures. Um, that was that was this week's day trip. Fulham vs Bristol Rovers. Um, great win for the West Country side. My you know my my region of the country there, representing the 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 nation. Um, the draw for the next round is at about four. Uh, oh, Shay Ojo. I should talk about Shay Ojo. Obviously, being a Liverpool fan, I, he was very sort of. Uh, yeah, he, he couldn't get himself into the game tonight. Um, he, he had a few touches. He tried to cut inside a lot. Never really got to the byline and did, you know, use that pace we know he's got. So that was quite disappointing. But um, yeah, on the whole, Fulham was really flat. Obviously, it was mainly a second string for them. Um, but look, gr a great evening. Um, a good little, a good little night out. Um, looking forward to some more of these. Carabao Cup fourth round draw, that third third round draw, uh, is going to take place at something like 4 a.m. So interesting to see who Liverpool get in that. Um, and interesting to see if there's any decent London games we can get to. Um, good little tournament to come to because it's always cheaper, um, which is great. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, please do subscribe if you're new and uh, drop a like, share it out for me, tell your mates, and follow my other socials, as Ben might say, on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. See you next time.